Hey guys, what's going on? Tech Bandit here, and we left off on the last video was installing Ubuntu. So, the first command, we're going to check Ubuntu version 2 for WSL2. All right, once we confirm that, let's install a Docker Desktop by clicking this link. So once we have Docker Desktop installed, we're going to need to run it. And to integrate it with Ubuntu, go to Settings, then Resources, and then down to WSL Integration. Okay, save and exit. Now we can go back to Ubuntu and run a couple commands to check if everything is correct. jump back out to our home directory and check a couple commands. If we just type docker-v, we'll get the version. Okay, and then we can even run a hello world container by doing sudo docker run hello world. Okay, now that shows that we have everything installed correctly. Check for Docker Compose. And that is also installed correctly. To install a volume where Portainer is going to store its data, we need to run Docker, volume, create, and then the name of the, the volume, is, which is going to be Portainer Data. And once that finishes, we're going to need to copy and paste this line right here. Wait until that finishes. We can check if the container is running by running Docker PS. And it looks like that's correct. And we're going to need to access Portainer through our local browser. So just hop out here and type this into your URL. Okay, so type your password and hit create. Next, we're going to need to connect it to our local Docker environment. Okay, and then hit connect. Here now it's showing us the two containers that we created, which is Portainer and the Hello World. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to get a whole bunch of templates for free. Back on my GitHub page, I have a link to this one right here. So depending on the version of Portainer, we're going to copy and paste this JSON link into the settings. Check off use external templates. I'm back. So if you're wondering why this is dark, I forgot that I was running a older version of Portainer, so I quickly just updated it. And the way I updated it is, it was really simple. All the configurations are saved, and it was just a matter of deleting the container and then reconnecting it with the new container. I updated the container by doing docker stop Portainer, docker remove Portainer, then I checked for the running containers and there was none. So then I reran the correct command and it pulled the 2.11.1 image. Okay. And that's pretty much it for now. And on the next video, we're going to be setting up a couple more containers. And um, if you want to remove this, now we can just kill it or just to remove, automatically remove. And that's it. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we're going to be setting up PyHole as a DNS. So we'll be able to block a whole bunch of ads that we don't need. All right. Take it easy, guys.